Hey, what's up everyone? I am bald and I am back. Intro, let's go. First to fight for the right and to build the nation's might and the army goes rolling along. Proud of all we have done fighting till the battle's won and the army goes rolling along. Hey, what's up everyone? Good morning. Um, it is 727 Monday, March 30th. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope that to you that's listening right now, that's watching, I hope you're doing well. I hope your family's doing well um, with this whole coronavirus um, pandemic. And um, I pray that that this all fades away soon. Um, and I know most of us would like to get back to our our normal daily lives, working, so on and so forth. But take take these days, these upcoming days of staying at home or working from home to, to find good in it. And um, yeah, so a couple things happened in my life that I had to prioritize some stuff. And this YouTube thing did not make the cut as far as proceeding with it. So, uh, but now I'm back and now I've found, um, I've cleared up some some time for me to post at least one video per week um, so that at least you can expect that from me uh, is one video talking about what the Alaska Army National Guard is all about and um, yeah so we'll go from there now that the boring update is done I'd like to get into the main topic for this week and uh, this week we're gonna talk about what Army basic training is like so let's go so what can you expect from Army basic training? Um, for your situational awareness, in the Army, we call it basic training, not boot camp. The Navy and the Marine Corps uses that term. And for the Air Force, they use basic military training. So in the Army, basic training. So what can you expect from it? Basic training is where you become a soldier. Basic training is broken down into three phases. Uh, in total, it is 10 weeks. The three phases are red, white, and blue. But before you go through that, um, you'll have to go through what's called week zero, which is the reception battalion. Reception battalion. This is known as week zero. This is where you'll in process. Put your bags underneath the desk. Put your paperwork on top of the desk. Start taking your paperwork out of the envelopes. Place your legs against the chairs. Do not sit down. During this in-processing time, you'll get to meet these soldiers, these non-commissioned officers that wears a funny hat. These non-commissioned officers are called drill sergeants. And those funny hats are called a campaign hat, also known as a drill sergeant hat. I am a drill sergeant. Ever wearing a hat like this or something similar is a drill sergeant. You will address us as drill sergeant. Do you understand? Yes, yes drill sergeant. sergeant. From here on out, the last three words out of your mouth will be yes or no drill sergeant. Do you understand? Yes, yes drill sergeant. sergeant. These, these non-commissioned, these drill sergeants are going to be your instructors. They're going to be your guide to go from civilian to being a soldier. Their sole purpose is to break the civilian out of you and turn you into a war fighting soldier. If you visit our website, nationalguard.com, you'll see everything that I'm talking about. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it has all the steps, the process for you to, to join the Guard A and the information that somebody would want as far as, oh, what job should they choose? What MOS should they choose? Um, and how long is basic training? More specifically, um, the nationalguard.com has a general schedule of basic training, which is pretty cool. I wish my drill, my recruiter, uh, when I for, when I joined, I wish he had told me about this. Um, never got this guidance, and this is actually what motivates me to do this, to do this video, to talk to you about the process, the steps, because I never got this guidance, and I want to be that leader to guide you to your process. From day zero to probably about day four or five, it really depends if you if you missed anything throughout that week. Um, you'll at least expect five things, and there's gonna be more. I just wanna highlight five things throughout this week that you'll get to do. First one is briefings. All right, everybody, look down. Make it so you are in one square. 
not half of a square, not two squares. You will all be in one square. You will not skip a square. Everyone will be next to each other, side by side. You'll do a lot of briefings. Uh, essentially, they're gonna go about the do's and don'ts uh, during your training, right? That's number one. Number two is the haircut. Yep, you're gonna get a haircut. The free haircut that we promise you, you're gonna get it. Number three, gear issues. They're gonna issue you your gear. They're gonna issue you the necessary items that you're gonna need throughout your training. ID tags, ID card. Um, ID tags are your dog tags. Um, and a du duffel bags, duffel bags that are filled with, with gear, canteen, hydration bladder, flick, uh, assault packs, your uniform, right? These are the, the, the necessary items that you get to use while in training. Number four, vaccinations. The infamous PB&J shot. If you've experienced it, please comment below and share your experience with a, with a future uh, recruit. I know for me, it's somewhat painful, um, but you'll get over it. So comment below about your PB&J PB experience. Lastly, number five, official photos. Uh, this is just they're in your uniform and they're gonna take pictures of you. Those are just some of the few things I want, like I said, those are just five things that I highlighted that, you know, that you'll experience throughout the week. Reception battalion, it's easy, but it's a wake up call for most. This is when it finally kicks in. This is when you start thinking, what did I get myself into? Don't worry, it only gets better from here. Trust me, this is the beginning of your journey to become a soldier. This is the beginning of your journey to become a warrior. This is the beginning of your journey to become a defender. That's it for now. Tune in next week for the next guard dispatch where we'll cover the first three weeks of your basic training, which is called the red face. That's it for now. Join the guard. Let's go.